Come on, dog. Are you serious right now? You have no energy throughout the day? You probably just woke up and you still are tired. And you're asking yourself, why, why is that? You go on your little computer and look it up on YouTube and you stumble upon my video. Let me tell you straight up, man. Did you get enough sleep? Were you on your phone the night before? Did you eat a whole meal an hour or two before you go to sleep? Did you eat a midnight snack? Were you that hungry? Smash that sub button. Leave a like for more videos, man. You guys already know what to do. Let's get it. Back in another video, man. I know it's been a while, but I'm back. You feel me? That's all that matters. A lot of people, especially in this generation, still wake up tired the next morning. And I'm not gonna say I've never woke up still tired because there's been days where I've still been exhausted, trust me. But I'm giving you guys three to four reasons why you still wake up tired. Because just think about it, you're supposed to wake up with good high energy, but people still wake up tired. Let me get it out of the way, bro. The first reason why you still wake up tired after you slept the night before is because you were on your phone. Now this is a huge one and this generation needs to hear this. If you're on your phone hours before you go to sleep, like I'm talking hours like an hour or two before you go to sleep you are damaging your eyes and your brain not even just damaging your brain naturally produces serotonin which releases when it's nighttime and then your brain tells your body okay I'm getting tired let's go to sleep and you start yawning and stuff and then you want to go to sleep but that doesn't happen your brain doesn't release serotonin because you're looking at your phone all night long because of the blue light. The blue light from your LED lights, your TV, when you be watching Netflix at nighttime, your phone when you be scrolling through TikTok and Instagram before you go to sleep, that's messing up your brain cycle. This is why you can't fall asleep. Your brain still thinks it's daytime because of the blue light. And do you want a solution, man? I got a big solution for you guys. I just started doing this like four days ago and it's helped tremendously. Go on Amazon and get a blue light protection glasses. I just got this and get the ones that look like this. Don't get the clear one. Get the ones that have the blue or orange one. Put these on every time it gets dark. When you're on your phone and watching TV, these will protect you from blue light so you can actually fall asleep faster. So the serotonin releases through your brain so you fall asleep. So you don't stay up all night watching Gator Ross on Twitch, watching Netflix, going through TikTok. I know what you guys be doing, bro, because I used to do the same stuff. But now my night routine is much more fluid. I don't stay up all night. I don't eat before I go to sleep. I don't do any of that. So if you know you're that person that loves to go on their phone before they go to sleep and wonder why you still can't fall asleep, it's because of the blue light. This is $40 on Amazon. This is the best purchase I've had done in a while. This is one of the main reasons why people still wake up tired. It's because of the LED lights, the blue lights from their TV, their phone. You gotta limit your phone use before you go to sleep. It's the only way to actually fall asleep for once. Because let me tell you, bro, your sleep is the most important thing that you need every single day. I don't care if you're 18, I don't care if you're 35, I don't care if you're 69. You need sleep. Your body needs time to rejuvenate and repair from the night before. It can't do that if you're only getting five to six hours because of the blue light. You feel me? So go to sleep, dummy. The second reason why you still wake up tired the night before is because you're eating a midnight snack or eating a big meal before you go to sleep. Let me tell you something that probably other people have never told you in your life. You need to eat four to five hours before you go to sleep. So if you know you're eating at eight o'clock, go to bed at like 12 to 1 a.m. Don't eat at 12 a.m. and go to sleep at 2 a.m. Don't do that, bro. Your body digests food 12 to like 8 p.m. After that time period, your body does not digest your food. So when you go to sleep, all the energy that you're your body should be repairing your body and giving you energy but instead you ate a midnight snack you wanted that ice cream you wanted those crackers you wanted those chips so bad your body is now digesting the food overnight this is why you're still tired because it takes a lot of energy for your body to digest especially if you're sleeping this is why you still wake up tired because the night before while you were sleeping your body was digesting the food you ate. You wake up still lazy, tired, not focused, unmotivated. Probably your stomach's bulging out. So that's five hours. You wanna have no food in your system when you go to sleep so you can wake up with energy. You feel what I'm saying? The next one is because you did not get seven to eight hours of sleep. How do you expect to wake up with high energy, be focused, motivated, ready to work out? if you only got five hours of sleep, dog. Like, y'all people in this generation love to be on their phones, love to not fall asleep. I don't get it, bro. You guys love to stay up to 3, 4, 5 a.m., but don't want to get up at 7, 8 a.m. when people are still asleep. You don't want to grind at 7, 8 a.m. 
But you want you want to go to sleep at 4 a.m. though, watching Gaten Ross on Twitch. Come on, bro. Y'all need to go to sleep early and wake up early. This is what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna start going to sleep at 12 and wake up at 7 to 8 a.m. Because I want to be up before everybody else. I want my day to be started before everybody else. That's the motivation you need and you need to have. If you are determined and focused to get your goals done and your dreams accomplished fast, you need to do this. And just think about it. If you wake up earlier than everybody else and you already work out, you already make content if you're a content creator. Your day is already halfway done. Because I can literally wake up at 8 a.m. and finish my day at 1, 2 p.m. And all the hard tasks I need to do that day is already done. And most people are still waking up because I went to bed at 4 or 5 a.m. So don't do that, bro. Go to sleep early, wake up early. This is why you still wake up tired because your sleeping schedule is so frank. And this is why you can't get stuff done. And this is why you're still tired after you wake up. You guys don't care about your sleeping schedule. You guys don't care about, oh, I don't really care about my self-improvement. I don't really care about sleep. It's just sleep. Bro, do you not realize how powerful sleeping is, bro? Do you know how much energy you can have if you just have a better sleeping schedule? Do you know how much stuff you can get done in a day? Bro, if I woke up at 7 a.m. an hour less than I do every single day, I would have an hour of more productivity that I can do in a day. But I forgot, this generation loves the goof off. This generation loves to be on their phone for 10 hours a day. This generation is so lazy they don't care about getting stuff done if you're those people if you're that type of person uh just click off the video now bro i'm talking to a specific type of people that actually care about their health want to self-improve and have a better life you feel me don't forget sleep is the most important thing a good sleeping schedule is underrated all right the last thing i want to mention is if you actually eat the last thing you want to eat is probably some fruit like bananas blueberries pineapples an apple, whatever. Because if you eat fruit that has high energy, you're gonna wake up the next morning with high energy. I remember like a couple days ago, I had a banana. I woke up with super high energy the next day. And I was like, bro, I feel so good. How do I feel so good, man? It was because I had a fruit, I had a banana right before I went to sleep, like four hours before I went to sleep. So do that and you will have high energy. Now, let me go over everything again for the people in the back that are still on their phone, they just have this YouTube video in the background. Like, come on, bro. Get off your phone. Make sure you get some glasses off of Amazon, $40. Some blue light protection glasses. Wear these before you go to sleep, like a couple hours before you go to sleep. It protects you from the blue light, from your TV, your phone, your LED lights, so you can actually finally fall asleep and not stay up. 24-7. Get off your phone. Don't be on your phone 24-7. Don't be on your phone watching Gaten Ross 4 or 5, 6 a.m., 7 a.m. Don't do that. Right before you go to sleep, limit your social media use and know, okay, I'll just look at this tomorrow or I'll just look at this when I'm not busy tomorrow. You don't need to look at everything on social media, dog. Especially on Snapchat when your friends are Snapchatting you and you're like, man, I, I gotta answer, man. I, I gotta take a Snapchat. Bro, you can do that tomorrow, bro. You shouldn't even be on Snapchat anyways, dog. Snapchat is a waste of time. I know you have a lot of group chats in there. I know you have a lot of your hoes in there, but Snapchat is a waste of time if you're actually trying to improve your life and develop your life. This is why we have iMessage. You guys can text on there. You guys can FaceTime on FaceTime. You don't need a Snapchat, all your girls that have a streak. That's a waste of time, bro. Imagine still having Snapchat in 2022, man. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be me, man. But anyways, don't have a midnight snack. And if you actually eat a couple hours before you go to sleep, like four to five hours, eat some fruit and actually have a good sleeping schedule for once in your life. Try to wake up at 7, 8 a.m. and get your day started. And that's how you don't wake up tired, bro. If you're just starting your self-development journey and self-improvement journey and you want some tips and tricks, this is the dark truth right here. Watch this video. Watch this entire video. I love y'all. appreciate y'all. Comment what you guys think. Comment your sleeping schedule because my sleeping schedule is 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. Comment down below your sleeping schedule and if you need to fix it. Anyways, man, I love y'all and I'll see y'all later. Peace out.